As a child, Katie had loved playing with dolls. So when she inherited her grandmother's old dollhouse, she was thrilled. The dollhouse was beautiful, with intricate details and tiny furniture. But as Katie began to play with it, she noticed that the dolls inside seemed to move on their own. At first, it was just small things a chair moved, a picture frame tilted, but then the dolls began to disappear altogether. Katie was convinced that she was imagining things, until one night, she woke up to find one of the dolls sitting on her pillow. It was staring at her, its eyes cold and lifeless. Katie screamed and threw the doll across the room. But the next morning, it was back in the dollhouse, sitting in the same spot as before. Katie tried to get rid of the dollhouse, but every time she threw it away, it would somehow find its way back into her possession. She began to hear whispers coming from the dollhouse, as though the dolls were trying to communicate with her. Katie became obsessed with the dollhouse, spending hours playing with it and trying to decipher the whispers. She even started to have vivid nightmares about the dolls coming to life and attacking her. One day, Katie's friend came over to visit. As they played with the dollhouse, Katie's friend suggested that they try to talk to the dolls. They held a scene, calling out to the spirits of the dolls. Suddenly, the room grew cold, and Katie and her friend felt a presence in the room. The dolls began to move on their own, and the whispers grew louder. Then, a voice spoke out from the dollhouse. It was the voice of Katie's grandmother, who had died years ago. She told Katie that the dollhouse was cursed, and that the dolls were possessed by evil spirits. Katie and her friend tried to escape, but the dolls attacked them, pulling them back towards the dollhouse. They were trapped, at the mercy of the evil spirits that had taken hold of the dollhouse and its inhabitants.